Not Good unless you order it. <laughs> Who is that, Artie? Yeah. I didn't even know he was still on the show. That was Benji. Well, you don't, get it in, you, don't, you don't get it in the joint? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't get... We don't get it in the joint. Joey, Why by the way, was most recently in prison because he had a few uh, bullet uh, casings. casings in his house. And as a guy on parole, he's not allowed to have bullet casings in his house. And I guess <laughs> the cops somehow ended up at his house and found bullet ca Why were the cops at your house anyway? First of all, I've never been on parole. Oh, uh, what are you on? I was on probation. Probation, okay. You know, there you I go. had a five-year run on probation. So after a year... Uh, they, see, every month, probation department would come to the ranch, and they just do a uh, probation check, make sure your life is on track and everything is right, and make sure you're not doing whatever it is you're not supposed to do. And honestly, I hadn't left my home in a year. I was home and just doing my thing. Really. That's what's great about this country, that we have the resources to you check up. You sit at home, though. Yeah, yeah. But, and, like, and also to check up on people and make sure they're behaving. Yeah, well, L.A. Is, it's like much, was much safer with me off the street and in jail because you know, <laughs> you know, it was much safer. Because uh, we noticed the drop in crime. But on the but seriously, Howard. So what happened? You got out of jail. You well, come home and the ex-wife, the the, the well, wife. Let me back up a little bit. First, with these this this probation violation that they that landed me back in there was ridiculous because in 2003, when I got arrested for the insurance deal. They had, you know, 100 ATF agents that rolled my house at 6 o'clock in the morning. It was like something you see, you know, on television. You don't really think it's ever going to happen to you. And when it did, they took a shotgun. It was an old family shotgun. You know, I think my mom used it to shoot snakes in Florida. And uh, it had a box of shotgun shells that my son Paulie bought in, like, 2001. Now I got arrested in 2003. So they took the gun. And really, I honestly thought that they took the shells. Why wouldn't they? These were the same shells a year, let me see, two, two years later, that when they did a probation search in my house, uh, they found them. And basically, that's what put me in jail. And we even proved that I had paperwork that showed when I bought them in 2000, when Paulie bought them in 2001, where they were purchased, the shell casings, we tracked the, the, the VIN numbers on it, or the ID numbers. You were a victim of circumstance. Well, actually, yeah. And I'm not bitching like, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. You, know, you went and you did your time. I, I had to take the year, so I went and did it. It was hard, man. It was a bitch because, you know, like when you get in Where'd trouble with something you really me? didn't do, and it's like, God damn it, you know. So I, I didn't do anything that bad. But wasn't I had he to do sick, it. too, when he went in? Weren't you sick? Yeah, I was real sick. I'm still sick, man. I'm down right now 50 pounds. Sick so. from what? What's the matter? Uh, Audie's still with the show? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, I wanted to say that I, I, a couple of months ago I was in L.A. I did the Jimmy Kimmel show, and afterwards I hung out with your son. I, and he's a great guy. I actually had a blast with his yeah. head. Yeah, Paulie, we, Paulie's a good, he's really a good, good, he's a good son. How did that kid turn out normal? I don't know. He just, he's the anti-Joey. You know what he's, after, he's after, Does he look like Joey? A little bit, you could tell, yeah. I mean, and... And he's normal? Yeah, you know. After, like, after the mom gets he, shot in the fucking head? Yeah, I, I gotta yeah. say, he seems normal, and he's wow. a really, he's a really good kid. He's, like, got a great energy about yeah. him, and... What's he, he do? He just got, I have, we had a lot of fun together. Thank I, you, Artie. I really appreciate that. And my, both my children are really, wow. really good Wow. Good for you, Joey. Well, good for you. Well, what are you saying good for you, Joey? Joey was away most uh, of the time. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Thank well, you. All right, good, good for your ex-wife. They must have done something right. I mean, he's a good kid. You could tell, you know. Thank you, Artie. Now, I'm, now I like you again. No, I'm, I'm all being serious. It's the Actually, truth. Actually, he, he looks more like you, Artie, so I don't know. Yeah, you know? We, a lot of people ask if we were brothers. Is we he were a heavy set kid? Well, not heavy set, but he's got the Belushi look to him. Yeah, I see. Well, we all of us do. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Remember, Joey, Artie, you're the young me. Okay? Yeah, Joey, right. let me understand something. <laughs> so you get out of jail, this hot wife, was she cheating on you when you were in jail? You know something? No, I don't. You know, I don't think so. I, I, really, I, I really do love her a lot. Did she, she visit good. regularly? Um, hey, you know something? Um, is you know what I forgot to ask you guys? What? Is there anybody else on the line? You're supposed to get David on the line? Where's David? Oh, is that your buddy, your producer? David One of them should to... be on the line. Oh, okay, Let's I see he is here. Again. Oh, that's right. We can't we can't interview You're Joey right. without David. Right. Hey, David. 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 Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. great, man. All Good. Right. But did she visit you regularly while you were in prison? Who? Your wife. Which one? The, the new one. The first one. Absolutely. One. Every visiting day, Ivanka came down <clears throat> to the jail, and she waited on that line outside with all the all the people that wait out there. To she's going to have no people. problem meeting a new man, that's for sure. That's a good-looking woman. She's very beautiful. Any conjugal visits? She's well, hanging out at the jail still. 
uh, it's it's any conjugal visits, yeah. uh, Robin? Yeah, any conjugal. No, it was all uh, no contact visits. Wow. It was all through the glass and on the phone. You were in prison. You weren't in jail, right? I was in jail, L.A. County, Men's oh, Central, I'll... great spot. Right. That's, that's exactly where I was. Great to you, Joey. <laughs> no, I was well, well taken care of with my medical and all that. Did yeah, you I have a? Gonna... Did you have a roommate? Um, not a roommate, but a cellmate. We were in single man cells in a secured area called 1700 and 1750. That was a cell block, and we were on lockdown, 24 7 lockdown. We only got out to wow. take a shower or. Uh, Did you have any meet. fights? Oh, no, no, no. They go on, but uh, no, not me. I was segregated. Yeah. We're doing a show, Howard, called Celebrity LA Lockup. So the Sheriff's Department was very, very helpful in doing interviews with Entertainment Tonight and Insider with Joey and making his stay as safe and um, quick as possible. So, Joey, tell me the big answer here. So Amy Fisher's getting a divorce, and uh, you're obviously getting a divorce. And then the speculation is that you two are getting back together as a couple, which would be the most phenomenal friggin' thing ever. Yeah. What you do gotta we, do it. You gotta and do you, it. And you've said in the paper you've had contact with her. What kind of contact? On Well, on the phone. Oh yeah, you called her. Absolutely. Well, we talk. Absolutely. When yeah. did you talk? You know what? I, I got it. I have to tell you, and and it's like, you know, like life has to go on, and like I've been trapped in this whole. Well, not trapped, but just like <clears throat> in this situation since Mary Jo got shot, where I was just like pounded by Mary Jo for years, and it was like when Mayor found out when when we all met a year ago that, you know, Amy did what she did and there was drugs involved and Amy didn't remember doing it and like Mary Jo and, and Amy made up and it was like it was like okay for them. I'm still carrying the anger and all this other crazy, horrible yeah, stuff. You've I'm said like, horrible things about Amy. Yeah, I did for all these years and I decided, you know, for me to be able to here we go, here's a little doctor Phil for you, but for me to go on and get on with my life and be able to like recover from everything physically, emotionally, financially <laughs> I need to put that down. I need to put the anger down because it does. No matter how strong you are, no matter who you are, the shit eats you up, man. It eats you up from the inside out. And I'm like, fuck this, man. Why? You know, Mary Jo didn't even care at one point that. Oh, I don't care. She says she doesn't remember shooting me. You know, I care. So what? Do you, so, so what happened? You I started care. calling. Well, I have to let it go to be able to make up with my life and go on with my life. So I'm gonna. I have a good relationship with Amy. And what do you mean? How often do you speak? I spoke to her twice this week. Wow. And, wow. And you spoke to her on the phone. Did she talk to you about the fact that her husband and her were breaking up? Yeah, I know all about that. You know, I didn't file for divorce. My wife did. And I understand that her husband filed also. But did Amy... you two were talking? Maybe. Did Amy say to you that she still has feelings for you? Um... You know something? We talked a couple of times, and uh, I'll be in New York next week, and I'm going to definitely go to dinner and just, you know, I owe her, I owe her, I owe her, I owe her an apology from the way I acted the last time that I saw her, and I'm not defending myself to the point where well, I was sick or any reasons. Wait why a second, was, you're attracted time. to her still, aren't you? You want her? You know what, Howard? It's Honestly, just me, listen, it's just me and you oh on the phone now, right? Right. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what? I'll be in town next week, and I'm gonna. <clears throat> hopefully, we'll go to dinner. And uh, I mean, you guys had good sex. You had a good time together. So it's not like you're totally repulsed by. I mean, aside from the uh, fact that she she pulled the shooting incident. Yeah, no, I'm not totally repulsed by her or right. anything that she did. You know, she got, did you read today in the paper? She just got big giant tit implants. Uh, yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, um, well, David. Uh, you know, all I wanted to say is these two have an opportunity where. They can rekindle their relationship after 15 years. Wow, that would be the that biggest the story crazy. ever. It was a uh, Romeo and Juliet type of love affair with the gunshot, you know, that everybody heard. But Amy's, Amy's shooting Mary Jo, going to jail, Joey going to jail. Can you imagine the ending of the story is Joey and uh, Amy get back together? Yeah, they oh, got to do the, the movies over the again. Project. Hey, you Joey, know, is there a temptation on your part? Is there a temptation on your part to get together with Amy Fisher just so that you, ha you get back in the news and there's a whole big opportunity here? You know, really, it has nothing to do with in the news. I could go outside, piss, piss along the curb, and it's going to make news. I mean, she does often, is, by the way. Which I try not to do because in L.A., I think you get like a year for that, so I don't want to do that. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Amy when I get back. Nobody's do you think you'll fuck her? Um, 
Mm. Honestly, you want to, don't you? Nobody's the same. That. You know, everybody changes over the time, as time goes by. And, you know, she's not the same person she was, you know, ten years ago, five years ago. They nor describe, am I. Nor is any of But us, they so. describe in the newspaper that her body is exceptional. She has yeah, a Playboy Playboy. In fact, they're saying she might even become a Playboy Playboy. Playboy. That's right. Are you for David, sure? Yeah, we are. Oh, my God. Will you be posing with her, David? Yeah, I will actually be posing nude. Because <laughs> you say we are doing Playboy. <laughs> well, you know. Well, are you managing her as well? Yes. Amy's going to be in Playboy. And I'll be no, doing I'm it with her. Player. David, has this been orchestrated by you to get the more interest in these two? You know, I, you couldn't orchestrate this this story. Either either these two, these two, timing is right. They're free finally. There's some opportunities. I think things have to be life changing. Have you told Joey he better close the deal with Amy in order to make this thing happen? I don't have to. I mean, these two have chemistry together. What you're going to see over the next couple of weeks is kind of like a Truman Show, and we're going to um, we're going to chronicle some of it. Oh, it's a TV. And show. I think it'll be fun. Wow. It's a TV. Wow. Show. Listen to Robin. Oh. Oh, he's entering on everybody. Stop it. Wherever it goes, it goes. It's going to be, you know, yeah, it's going right. Please. She's a professional yenta, you know. <laughs> she gets paid to be a, a yenta. Cute yenta. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Joey Boots wants to say hi to Joey Buttafuoco. Go ahead. Who, who does? Joey Boots. Joey Boots from Mass Peak will all out in your hometown, Joey Buttafuoco. Hey, Joey. I want to tell you right now, you're the most disgusting, vile human being. I wish death on you. I hope you fucking die. Uh, you know what? To fucking do this, to, to try to stay famous, which is all... Gorilla, that's your gorilla. agenda. That's your like agenda... Gorilla. Your agenda is to stay famous, man. So you're going to take the mother... The, you're going to go out who with the girl. That? You're going to go out... Hey, hey, who is no, no. You're, you're trying to hook up... You're trying, to hook, just asshole, just you're trying Joey to hook up. Joey Boots, for Christ's sake. You're trying to hook up with the woman right, that right, shot right, the mother of your children. What about that, Joey? I'll, he's worked up, but but what about that, Joey? How can you go out? Who was that guy? Joey Boots, for Christ's sake. He's who the from, fuck is he? Did Joey Boots you don't know? I don't know who he's he is. He's in the whack pack. <laughs> oh, 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 that guy. Uh, listen. Did he ever go, did, get through the sixth grade? Joey has a good point. What he's saying, he is. how can you start having sex? Again with the man, the woman who shot the mother of your children. You know, I'm going to go have dinner. Yeah, I mean, maybe Joey Boots has sex on the table. Maybe it's a first time. The first time, time. Out of the game. I mean, your son is going to freak out, and so is your daughter that you're having sex with uh, Amy Fisher. You know what, man? He thought some pasta, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea, no, man. No, seriously, Joey. You could, come on. You got to think this through. This is a major thing. Do you think? That's yeah, of course right, it is, Joey. Well, you know something. He is right. I'm heading back to New York in a little bit. <clears throat> I'm my wife's going in a different direction, whatever it is it is. You know, you're going to see these guys on the cover of People magazine. We're going to do uh, Letterman. We're going to do Letterman. Well, how do the children feel about this? You know, so honestly, up with... if, if, if Mary Jo and Amy can sit down and, and, ha and not even hash it out, but talk out what they needed to talk out, Mary Jo can forgive her. You know, wh what's your tactic? What happened to Hello? Joey. Joey. He's gone. No. David, you there? else you know everybody oh. else is making up going on with their lives you know i'm entitled to do the same thing joey what's the plan to what you, you want to, you want to go to bed with her i Hello. lost everybody uh you there oh our phones went dead yeah completely dead on? you should see what's hey, going on hey joey you there I, I, everybody got this Hello. hey anybody nobody here? can hear anybody wow the they'll whole call back. maybe they'll call back let's listen in let's see if anything else happens like yeah. we get some inside information we got disconnected Hello? Hey, guys, the phone system just died. Yeah, we know. The whole thing just crashed. We're, we're checking on it. That would have been great if he just said something like, uh, Amy, you can keep blowing me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? I'll go around the room. All right, first, Fred. Is this just a huge publicity stunt orchestrated by David Kreef? Yeah, David Kreef is definitely behind the whole thing. <laughs> and right. I really feel badly for uh, Mary Jo. I mean, she's taking more shots on this. There's a phone being dialed up. I feel bad for her and for her kids. Joey, I think, is, like, totally lost. Uh, Robin, is this a publicity stunt? What's going yes, on here? Yes, yes, there's nothing going on. They're just doing this to get back in the press and uh, to create another TV show. Artie, what do you say? It has to be. I agree with Robin. There's, I mean, as low as a human being can go. <laughs> I, I, I would hope he at least called Mary Jo and said, listen, this is going to be so embarrassing. The innuendos, 
the press, the tabloids are going to say we're together again and she shot you. The Again, like Joey Boots made such a great point. The mother of his kids yeah. was shot by this woman. Absolutely. And yeah. I, I hope he at least said to Mary Jo, look, it's going to mean quick money. Do you mind if we do this and I give I you a cut or something? something. Right. What do you think the reality is? Do you think that Amy Fisher will start banging Joey again? Her no. Husband, her I husband don't... was a Joey but a Fuqua lookalike. I don't think so. I, 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 I really don't. What, why wouldn't well, you think Amy Fisher would do the that? The more interesting question is would Joey, if given the opportunity, fuck her? Yes. But that's my point. Why would Artie not think that Amy would be open to it? Because I just think the whole thing is a contrived stunt. I really I understand do. that, but why would you say uh, Amy Fisher's the one who won't be Yeah, she's crazy. Into it? Well, I she's don't know. Nuts. Well, she, she's older now. We're all, As Joey said, we're, we're not the same people. Oh, we can you grow out ago. of nuttiness? <laughs> yeah, can you grow out yeah. shooting somebody in the head? I'm hoping you can. Artie <laughs> thinks Amy might be normal. <laughs> no, well, listen. She grew into I'd normal. fuck her. I'll fuck her. I look enough like Joey. I'll, I'll fuck, fuck her, her too. I'll fuck her right I'll fuck now. That fucker. But While I, we're I, I don't know. I, but he, I, I think Mary Jo, having met her a couple of times, I think she's got enough class in her to go. I don't care how it's much still money. Gotta hurt. Yeah, what I don't are care. you talking about? Mary Jo is a, she's a nice person. But what has Mary Jo got to do with the story? I'm saying if Joey did go to her and say, look, I I'm sorry about what I'm about to do, but it's going to make me quick money. Do you mind this? Will it be that offensive? Even if I hope and he would have said. Joey's not going to sleep with a spreading Amy Fisher? I, I, I would hope he wouldn't for the sake of his oh, kids. You're oh, you're crazy. crazy. I really would. I well, listen, I'm telling you what I think. <laughs> Uh, Joey will fuck anything. Absolutely. Well, he likes that. Uh, he'll, be fucking, he'll be fucking his kids. This will be fucking because they're going to be screwed up. And his, his kid is a they're nice gonna kid. They're going to be screwed up. If they survived all this, <laughs> yeah, they could survive they, he, that. I don't think anything he can do will hurt them. I met yeah. his son. His son's a real nice kid. He's got, he doesn't seem to have any issues. And Did you talk to him about the whole situation? No, that, would, that was awkward. I wouldn't have done that. But well, I've actually hung out with Mary Jo a couple of times, too. And I think she's the type of person that would have said, I don't care how much money you're getting. I don't want this to happen. So I think he's already pissed. Off, Let me just say belief. something. I'm trying not to blow my stack because we have a phone system that regularly just has to be rebooted. I don't yeah. understand that. I, I don't get it. So I'm trying to maintain my cool when we're in the middle of an interview. But uh, that will need to be looked into. And while we're waiting to see if we can ever take another phone call for the rest of the show, I will read you this. O.J. Simpson thrown out of local steakhouse on the eve of the Kentucky Derby. It's about time. The owner of an upscale steakhouse in Louisville said that he asked O.J. Simpson to leave his restaurant the night before the Kentucky Derby because he is sickened by the attention Simpson still attracts. I don't want to serve him because of my convictions of what he's done to those families. Jeff Ruby said in a telephone interview Tuesday, we should interview this guy. Yeah. The way he continues to torture the lives of those families with his behavior, attitude, and conduct. Uh, as you know, of course, O.J. Simpson got all up. Oh, David creeps back on the phone. We'll wait for Joey. We're, we're starting to get our phones working again. Um, so he, he, he stood by and said, I don't want to serve this man. And I'm, I'm shocked there isn't more of this kind of stuff. And no, apparently OJ has no problem most of the time. I just found on the internet that si Tom Sizemore might have been busted for meth again. Might have been. No, he was. Oh, it's busted true. For okay. Meth again. I didn't know. I don't know if it was true or not because yeah, I got it off it the internet. True. You guys uh, never watched Shooting. All right. Right. Well, I'm just saying uh, it's a shame. This guy was a good actor and and uh, great actor. Career I, going. I was just watching Saving Private Ryan the other night and he's fantastic in it in a Spielberg classic movie and I watched Shooting Sizemore more than you guys did. Yeah, was, I never got to see an episode. I hadn't heard he got busted again. After watching that show that really makes me sad. He, he's I don't know what's going to help him, but that sucks. Alright, Joey, hold on a sec. We Our phones went dead. That's what happened. Uh, Joey, you there? Yeah, I am. Alright, hold on a second here. I'm going to get this all back again. i got to get the, your, your your friend there, David Kreef, on the phone. Too. Oh, okay. You two are like two peas in a pond. Yeah, maybe they're having a relationship. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's the real story. Really David, you there? Robin. All right. Joey, How about you? Joey um, the question was asked while we got disconnected. Are you, let's say the scenario arrives, you're out dinner with J uh, Amy Fisher, having dinner, she looks great, she's got the big titty implants, mm -hmm. you know, she's wearing a short skirt, you like what you're hearing, you like what you're she seeing. She smells good. You're having a few drinks. <laughs> She says, Joey, you know, I always loved you, and I still love you, and I want to fuck you. For all time's sake. I want to have sex with you. I want to take you back to my house. Would you have sex with Amy Fisher if if that kind of scenario evolved? 
and Lou did not have his guns there. There you go. Yeah, right. yeah, totally. You would. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Artie. Do you see what we're saying? He's so, saying it. Artie said you wouldn't. So who won? No, no. Listen, he's saying it because that's the only way anyone's interested in all this bullshit. Oh, stop no, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, it's to make no, money. It's Can I ask you money. something, Joey? No, Joey, man to man. Sure. Is she, the, is she the best Artie, pussy? Crazy? Is she the best pussy you ever had? Um. Uh, you know something? It, it's no, but you know it's it's <laughs> that's a tough question. It really is. You've had a lot of uh, a lot of experiences. Yeah, I mean uh, it's especially lately. But you know something? <laughs> right. Especially last night. What yeah. happened last night? <laughs> what happened last night? No, 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 no. We're not going oh. there this morning. Too early. Uh, I'm sorry, Howard. What was your question? The question is: about? Is she the best pussy you ever had? You know what? Amy's a lot of fun. Well, how so? She's just a. Uh, she was always just a very nice until all the shit broke. But then, right. it, then we all know why and how that happened. Would and, she be uh, open to anal with you? You know something? Uh -huh. I don't know. You never did that with her. No. I'm talking about in the old days when things were good. When you had your affair with her. No. Like were she things would... ever good? I mean, the old days, things were pretty crazy. Well, no, there was a time when he had good sex with her. Yeah, well, for a long time, but, you know... We're but, Joey, what about the fact that she accused you of being her pimp and and that, uh, you know, and that, that was all heavy uh, stuff? Uh, you know something? Yeah, there was a lot of stuff being thrown out there in the in the early days, you know, after the whole shooting incident, and you know, orchestrated, of course, by the attorneys. But well, wait know, a second. Doesn't that scare you? Say. Even my attorneys were telling me what to say. I was never involved in anything so like this. No, he could so. have a pimp based on his... Uh, you know, there were so many things said. Honestly, I mean, everything from the the pimp to her, her life on and drug, with drugs and, and her whole way of life and that I gave her the gun and I was responsible. That's what I'm saying. Aren't you afraid? afraid? No, because you know why? Honestly, we spoke about this and... The, and then it blew up into a rage or what have you. But, you know, she actually, you know, told me she never remembered shooting Mary Jo. Like, she doesn't remember a lot of <laughs> All things. right, so you don't think she's crazy? I don't think she's crazy. Wow. I really don't, honestly, and that's coming from my heart. I, I really don't. Do you have nicknames for each other when you were on good terms? Did you have uh, lover names? No. no. Never. No. But honestly, I, like, today, you know, I, don't, I know, honestly, to answer your question, I don't believe that she's crazy at all. Wow. You Have know, your kids weighed in on this, Joe? Do you think your kids are going to be pissed if you start a relationship with her? Probably. Yeah. You don't care about that? No, I do care about that, Artie. Well, how are you going to deal with that? I'll well, he won't see his kids. I'll, I'll deal with it when it comes to Artie. Artie's so serious. Yeah. Uh, no, this this creep you've latched on to, David Creep, whatever his name is, is is trying to promote the fact hey, that it's trying to promote the fact that you're gonna no fuck the, the woman who shot your kid's mother. You're on Jimmy Kimmel, and you're not on the Tonight Show. Huh? I'm out on the night show because Jay Leno's yeah, a fucking listen, asshole. Right. <laughs> right. He's no not a letter, man. No matter what you say, man. Artie, you're, I love you, man. You're not funny, Artie. What? You're not even funny. Dude, you're, you're a funny. creep who's trying to latch on to Joey to try to get him, to try to promote, to try to get him. Right of your life. And Howard Stern, if without Howard Stern, you're nobody. Nobody gives a shit about you. Guess what, dude? I had a career before I was uh, here, and I'll have a career in show business a, doing a lot of well, well, well after you're fucking dead from creepiness. You're not on my list. We got cut off again. David, I hung up. Yeah, David. I didn't hang up. I didn't hang up. Oh, Did you hang up for Artie? No, dude, you're you're just a, a, a weaselly I mean, parasite say, creep you know, what a, what who, who wants to try to are, who wants to try to get this guy to to make money off well, promoting he might fuck this chick you, who mur you almost fun? murdered yeah. the mother of his kids. Good for you. You're a creep. Well, you're a you? creep. You're the worst. I, I am not. I'm not. I'm not well, wait a second. How did we get into this? I don't know. I was talking to I'm Joey. A, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get to the bottom. It just I'm makes it just, it just makes me sick finger. when this guy's like. I go like, why would you fuck up. Joey? This guy's like, Ugh, she's hot. The guy has no concept of love, <laughs> caring, romance. To be with Howard Stern for the rest of his. What's life. your claim to fame, <laughs> douchebag? Why don't you fucking check? What's me wrong out? with being with Howard Stern? Yeah, what's wrong with being with Howard Stern? Is that a problem? But you know, if you were funny, it would be better. Well, Howard, why am I on the show? Because you're funny. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Sir, what's your claim to fame? Day, bro. All right. Let's get. Let's get. Well, let's find out though. One question I have. Yeah, I mean, so, aside from your feelings about David Kreef. Right. Um, uh, I met Joey's kids, and I feel bad for them. Yeah, that's his problem. He met a kid, and that's the end of it. Oh, he met well, a met, kid. He met Joey's kids. Yeah, I kid. met a kid. Right. Hey, can I tell you something? A guy, a, a kid who you don't give a fuck about, you don't right? Give crap about this story. What? You really don't. 
And you're just you're just talking out of your mouth. It means nothing. You don't know any facts. What what really. what don't I know about it, Dave? Know about it, what Dave. don't I know about you don't it? Know what, what? About the, the probation violation. You don't know why he went to jail. You don't understand why he's out of jail. You don't understand. What, what does that have to do with anything? What does no. that have to do with anything no, I'm you saying? Just talk like as if you know this stuff. You don't, you've done no research. You don't know anything. What you, don't I know yeah, about the yeah, Butterfuko saga know. that you know? Howard Stern. That's what you know. What? Just be funny, man. That's what you get paid for. I'm not... No, I, no, I get paid to talk on the radio. And right now, there's a lot of people laughing at the fact that I'm pointing out that you're a fucking creep. Well, I think everyone already listens to you every day and knows that about you. I only show up once in a while. Because you're, you're a parasite day. leech. Well, you guys obviously... Uh, uh, you have wow. some previous history yeah. maybe that we don't know I about. never met David Creep. I mean, David... Let me tell you, I'm in the comedy business. I'm working on huge <laughs> films. Nobody knows about it. Nobody knows who the fuck you are. Bro. Yeah. Oh, well, David you, actually does have a... You evidently do. He does do some film work. What are you doing? That. What are you working on? What are you working on, David? Right now I'm doing a, a wonderful project with Susan Lucci. It's a Sopranos... <laughs> Sounds funny. ...where she's the lead. She's She is the Sopranos lead. It's called... Mafia Wise, the Antoinette Giancana story. It's a sequel to Mafia, Wy uh, Mafia Princess that was on 15 years ago. That sounds hilarious. I've been, everyone's been waiting for a sequel uh, to that one. Well, once again, uh, David, tell him that's about so that's as anticipated as George Two was. David, tell him about your previous work. Yeah. David. Hello. Hello. Are we gone again? Where's David? Joe, are you there? Again with the phones. Oh. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Hello? Cocksucker. <laughs> Howard, they're still there. Jo Will says Joey's still there. You didn't put him on hold, did you? No, I didn't did, touch you a thing. Did you touch anything? Joey, you there? We, oh, we had to call Joey him. back because his phone got disconnected. Well, then where's David? <laughs> where's David? David, you there? the hell is going on today? He and Artie were bonding. You guys were really going at it. <laughs> it took a long while. I don't know. Something, Artie's something, on the right track, by the way. I can give you a fucking list of who he's booked his guests on the show. But wait a second. Wait a second. That's... I'm trying to find out if Joey Buttafuoco is really hooking up with Amy Fisher. Don't I, we want to know that? I say yes. Well, he just, How are we going to find that out, though? I think what Artie is pointing out is we can't find that out. This is uh, crazy if he gets back. With if, I think if, if he it, does it, they'll both tell us. If it's just for the TV show, it's not real. I don't know what's going on. All hell's breaking loose. I mean, are they going to film I like, them? I like hearing Artie yelling. Yeah, yeah, but be on in two seconds. Right. Are they going to film them having sex though? What, what are, we going? Course, where are we going here? I don't know sure. anything about love. <laughs> David will film that. <laughs> Joey, what's going on today? Oh, I'm back on. Okay, cool, man. I mean, this phone keeps getting fucked up on you guys. What's up with I that? I think at this time it was you. No, it was all your. I'm going to hang up. Right? Come on. Hey, you know, Artie, I, no matter what, I think you're hilarious, and I we always had fun, and, and so... That's no, this ain't about, about you. It's about the kid that I met. That's your kid who's a nice kid who I yeah. think you're going to hurt by this. Yeah, well, Paul, he's, he's not a kid. He's 27. You know, he makes his yeah. own choice. Hello? Hey. I'm going to... What is going on? And David's on there. Wait. David, you there? Yeah. Hey, what, what, we keep losing Joey. I th did your phone disconnect? Uh, my phone has disconnected three times. So it's got to be us then. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I, I haven't hung up a, because of Artie. Trust me, that. No, right. we know. Sir. Yeah, we don't. We're having trouble, and I just lost Joey. Your again. layer of sleaze is way stronger than that. Well, uh, listen, pal. <laughs> maybe you and I will meet. There he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he can't no. even make his threat oh, or his offer of a Fuck goal. me with this phone system. I'm but you are. I'm fucked. I'm getting pissed now. That was. Fuck, getting to I, be fun. I wanted his threat on tape. Yeah. Well, you got half a threat. <laughs> if anybody's worried about XM and Sirius merging, I think it's necessary because we can't afford a phone system. <laughs> Do you want to meet? Well, yeah. yeah it's a... <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do to you. Right. <laughs> It might have been uh, it might have been divine intervention for that guy because if we ever met, he might have an Adirondack <laughs> coming out of his ass. He doesn't like you, I'll tell you that. Wow. I don't like him either. All right, here's Joey. Hey, Joey. 
This is crazy. Yeah, man, we keep getting cut off, but we, it's on your end. Cause, uh, yeah, it is. We must we, have a time weird. limit or something. It's yeah. definitely our fault. You know what it is? Point. We have one of those old pay phones. There you go. <laughs> if you don't put the quarters in, you lose everybody. The operator go. needs more money. See, God Artie's, doesn't want this promoted. Artie's really worked up. Yeah, Artie's pissed off. I'm getting that feeling for the little bit that I can hear because I keep getting cut off. But Artie, it's like... You know, I, you hung with Mary Jo at the last show, right, out here in L.A.? I've met her a couple of times, sure. He is I... right, Joey, though. If you bang Amy Fisher, yeah, it, it's going to fuck your kids up real bad. Right. Well, the thing is, it sounds like Artie's more concerned than Joey is. I don't think that's a good thing. Who gives a shit about me? You know, who gives a shit about me? But you no, should no, give, no, a, shit. Mean, you should give a shit about kids. yourself because your kids probably give a shit about you. you know, so you should give it. Two shits out of bounds. She can rip my fucking chest out. She, at this point in, in, in time, she doesn't give a flying fuck. Who's this? Who? Mary Jo. But what about your kids? Uh, you know something? I love my kids. My kids love me. It's like, you know, I don't know what else to you tell you. You don't think so, this would hurt them? You know something? I probably have to sit down with them, talk to them. <laughs> well, maybe you you got to have do time that. to talk to them before you. You might want to do that before bang the day. Amy Fisher? Well, first you bang her, you then, you'll, then you'll talk to them. Um, like, Although I personally would love to see this. Well, of course we would. <laughs> of course it would you be good would. for us. I think a lot of people would. I mean, but seriously, I just want to. When talk you to talk to Artie, Amy on, wait, because but wait a second. When you talk to Amy on the phone, like is she talking romance? You know, we talk about a lot of things. Yeah, have you had phone do. sex? No, no. But what, like, does she ever say, you know, I did love sleeping with you, Joey. You were so great and bad. You're such well, a man. Well, you know what? She did tell me that she loved me very much back in the day and now. So it's like, you know, it's, I don't think I'm the respo I don't think I'm responsible from, for her breakup with her husband or anything like that. I, right. I would hope not. But I think she's just looking for a change and moving in a different direction. Right, is it, she's is vulnerable it, is right it merely now. a coincidence that hey, the two of you are getting divorced at the same time? You want to know something? I didn't know this was happening on my end. This has happened, like, when I got out. I see. You know? So right. I didn't know what was going on. What is it, Freddie? Actually, you know, I actually I have a couple. Out to I have, this, you know. I have a couple of questions for Joey. Joey, when you were uh, with Amy back in the day, did you think it was going to get more serious? Did you hope it would get more serious, or was it just a, a fuck? Uh, that's what it was. Just it was. Just, but how about now? Do you think would I don't, you would love don't to know. see I'm it develop? See where, I'm going to see where it goes. I'm gonna back see. in the day, it was he saying she was just a fuck? Right. Well, uh, wait a minute. Hold he's it, not hold ruling it. out the fact that maybe it could develop into something. Otherwise, it would just. It's Absolutely, just... he's not ruling it out. But right. to me, it seems odd because you just found out you're getting a divorce. You're already ready to jump into something else with Amy Fisher. Hey, he's you know, been in prison a year. Um, not that I'm not that I'm ready. To There's no other girls on the it. planet. Right. You know and he's used to her. <laughs> By the way, Joey, have you had sex since you got out of prison? Then? Yes. You have? Yeah. Oh, wait, David's back but on the phone. They can't talk about it. Artie David's back on the phone. He was in the middle of threatening you. We, we're sorry about the phones. What was the threat, David? Get to the right back. Dave, shoot him. Continue That's your threat, Dave. What was the threat? I don't know. You, you were saying, uh, do you want to meet? Hey, oh, buddy. Uh, you know, get, uh, maybe he yeah, wants Artie, you to be in the next Mafia Princess movie. Listen, maybe it's a all like, I can business movie. I have heard that you have sparks of genius. I just haven't seen it today, that's all. All right, dude. You know what? I'm not. You know what? I said my piece. As a matter of fact, this little argument is probably going to get you more press because you're on Howard's show than I'm anything. Not, listen, I'm not here to get press from me. I'm excited about Amy and Joey and their. That is exciting. Oh, so that's what I'm here. <laughs> you know, David is, the, is very excited about Amy and Joey and Mary Jo. He's been excited about them. David, for a long why time. are you excited? Amy, Mary Jo, and Joey together. They said that would never happen. And the fact is, when you see Mary Jo on Thursday, whatever, she will tell you that I brought them together. And I'm looking for people to have love and be re reunionized and have fun and have good families. I have children. I know what you're saying, Artie, but you can't at some point or another when your kids are grown up. I don't know if you have kids, but at some point or another you have to live for yourself. And you right can't now. always live in the past. Okay, David, let me ask you this. All, all, you know, all craziness aside. I mean, kids are my number one thing. I'm working for nine Well, listen to Artie's question. Okay, so suppose, suppose someone shot the the mother of your kids would well, your right kids now, would yes. your kids well suppose in the past it happened would your yes. kids be upset if you were dating them publicly well listen i'm telling you right now people change and i don't know what was there 15 years ago i wasn't part of mary joe and joey's relationship i don't know what caused it i don't know if there was drugs and alcohol 85 percent of all crimes have something to do with drugs and alcohol. Right. We'll say that. Well, I know something about that, but right. you know. So my feeling is, and believe me, I know something about this too, and I work for the sheriff's office. They're wonderful people. Sheriff Lee Bach is the finest man I've ever met. He's going to be governor of the state of California. We work for charities called 999 for Kids. And do the you think you could is, hook up O.J. and Nicole's sister? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what about well, that? O.J. was in the same cell that Joey was in, by the is way. Is that right? And we went in there, and the reality is what we're trying to do is show 
there is a lot of crap that can happen because of alcohol and drugs. I think if you stay away from alcohol and drugs, there's less than a 15% chance that there's going to be a Let's see what the fans have to uh, say. I can't argue with that. But... Uh, Stephen in Cleveland, you're on the air. Thanks for taking my call, Howard. You know, I, I, other than the, the the shooting, I mean, this was just nothing more than a fair, but, man, Joe, you got to look at this thing like, you know, what, what it's going to do to you, the, the relationship you have with your kids. I mean, this guy is nothing more than a parasite trying to make a buck. Artie, you hit it right on the, the head on the... You know, I well, mean, I think Artie's changing his mind, because, Artie, I think you realize if people are in love, anything can happen. You can have cancer, you can be an alcoholic, you can be a drug addict. I'm not saying anything that's too far away from any family in the world. Why doesn't everybody deserve a second chance? Well, you so let them have love on their own, buddy. I mean, why do you... Yeah, why do you have to hook them up? What is your interest I'm, in I'm it? Yeah. What's your love connection? I'm a why are you the love connection? You know, I'm doing a project coming up with... You know, dollars. With with many many talent that are superlative talents, the fact that Joey and Amy are this item that they are is not my doing. I just happen to facilitate it. All right, like Sinatra with Dean and Jerry. Exactly. Oh, I go. freaking love Thank you. Right? Listen, listen. I, I gotta say something. You know what? I, I met I've met Joey and Mary and now Paulie a couple of times. And to tell you the truth, I uh, I have an affection for them because I probably have the same background as them. I'm, right. I'm the same type of person, and I really like them. I do. I think they're deep down they're good like people. Them. All three of them. And I just feel that it's just good. This is going to tear them further apart. Artie, this is the worst show, thing that can happen Artie. to a family. People show their sides. Like, you have a side that you show the public. But that's something. David, you can't think this would be side. good for Joey's no. kids to uh, sit there and uh, know their dad is now in love with uh, the woman who shot well, their mother. You've been through a divorce, Howard. Yes. You know that a lot of stuff happens when you decide to get divorced. Your kids yes. sometimes take sides. All sorts of things happen. All I can tell yeah, you is that Yeah, but, you know, usually it's difference. unjustified. Yeah, I mean... Give it a day, this is all for the love of money. What are you talking about, pal? I'm just I'm, saying, as I'm someone... I'm you, the reality of this is people go through divorce, people go through separation, they go through alcohol, they go through drugs... They usually don't go through gunshots, other, though. You have a life, and you know, you don't live it only for your kids. You live it for your kids before they're 18, and then they have their own lives. Oh. Yeah, but all, a lot of this stuff is history. Uh, uh, Adam, you're on the air. Go ahead. Is the guy from Cleveland? Still? No, now now is the guy from New York City. Go ahead, Adam. Hello. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello. go ahead. Hey, uh, Joey, man, i got to give you some advice. You need to stay away from her, not for anything else for your kids, but for yourself, man. She is so stupid. I used to live across the street from her. I just moved six months ago. She is so stupid, she'll get you arrested for doing something stupid. She is not Drive stupid, you're wrong. Really? She's a very... Oh, yeah, you sound like something. an idiot, but she's a smart girl. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Let's yeah, see. You're an idiot, Drive she's just, smart. She drives David. First of all... And she's hot. Let me hear this guy. Let me hear this guy. I want to hear this yeah. guy. Seriously. Her, her, husband, her husband spent all her money. She told my wife and her girlfriends in the neighborhood. Nothing left. Gone. We don't know uh, that. Uh, okay. This is hearsay evidence. Uh, so, Joey... Don't worry about the money. It's not there. You got to start it all over again. Number two, the girl drives around the neighborhood with the kids in the back seat, not buckled, jumping around in the front seat. Oh, that's all hearsay. Come on, come on. Let's let's yeah, go. Yeah, we on. don't even know if he lives in Rosemary. Right. Right. We don't know who we don't know who that is. Joe, you're on the air in Vineland, New Jersey. Go ahead, Joe. I'm I'm here. I'm, I'm just listening. No, different Joe. Go ahead, Joe. Joe from Vineland. Are you there? Son of a bitch calls my show and then he's not there. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Let's go to Aaron who wants to say hello to Joey Buttafuoco and, of course, uh, David Kreef. Uh, David claims that he is putting together some sort of reality show right now around this monumental meeting between Joey and Amy. Well, I know that he was taping um, Joey well, we've already while he that, was Howard. in the we prison. A, a meeting. Now, now it's gone past that and these guys are rekindling their relationship. If they make love, will you tape it? Only if you're there with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Aaron. You're on the air. Hey, now, Howard, Aaron Crane, Chicago, bro. I think you're overestimating the public. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. No one out there gives a flying fuck about David Kreef and Joey Butterfield. Well, why are you calling right now? Exactly. Why is he calling Howard? <laughs> Because I'm a fan of Howard Stern, and he put ah. him on the show for some reason. No one seems to fucking care about you. Don't you you're think, wasting your time calling. Don't you think it would be outrageous if Joey began living and, 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 and in yeah. some sort of relationship with Amy Fisher? And wouldn't Artie? you want to have cameras there? I would. No, I, don't, I don't think so. I think it's old news, and no one really cares. Hey, can right. I tell you, their spouses, Howard, are amazing. This guy, Lou, 
is a ex cop. He's he's a trip to watch. And then Ivanka is this gorgeous Russian that is going to be in Playboy as well. Oh I my mean, goodness. and the sons and the daughters. Let me tell you, if anything, what we're doing is we're putting Doctor Phil together with all of these people, and we're going to work out their family life. Doctor Phil talk. is involved in this project? No, no way. You right? couldn't get Doctor Phil in yeah, on this. You got Doctor Phil on this? Yeah, Entertainment Tonight. Doctor Phil Insider McGraw has the rights to this. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's so a you, Paramount production. You know, Howard and Robin and the guy from Ohio and anybody who calls it with a negative. It, it is a big part of recovery as well. And I know everybody right. Everybody says, oh, recovery, this, recovery, that. But at least for me. What are you recovering it's from? It's a really? start. I'm recovering from like 15 years of insanity. And for me to be able to move on, I, I, do you have to face some of these things. I got a feeling and, Joey's and already made up man. his mind. He's banging Amy oh, Fisher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a done this deal. This is a done deal. With he thinks conscience. he's owed. <laughs> yeah. With or without conscience, huh? He's condom, saying the only condom. way he can move forward is to bang this broad. He certainly is not banging Mary Jo. That much yeah. I promise. Hey. Okay, is you know Mary Jo a part of this at all? I don't think so. What if What if Amy then falls in love Maybe. with Joey she might be. and she goes she out and be. shoots another know. woman in the face? Well, that's my fear. <laughs> <laughs> every woman who has to watch their heads. That'd be fun. If I Joey says every hello. woman who's jealous goes out and just... Amy's blows. on the loose again. Right. Not every woman, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this time Joey will shoot someone. No, 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 not me, man. All he right. won't even go near a gun at this point. No, like Dominic told me years ago, it's all about recovery and forgiveness and all that Dominic shit. But it, it's true, though. I gotta he doesn't you. even like seashells anymore. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there it is. David Creep, who, who is producing a special... Correct. That uh, is it's going more than a special. It's a series. A series around this meeting between right. Amy Fisher and the families and Joey. Hey, Howard. Howard? Uh, yes. How do you think? You think people? I'm mean, seriously. I mean, if we were living together someplace out here, hopefully, because the weather's better. Oh my God. You know, and well, doing different stuff, whether it's rolling in Hollywood, be you know, any up and down in Hollywood, doing shows, whatever, going to shows, doing going shows, to Vegas. No, no, not like going to a show like what you do, Audie. No, but I mean, you said doing hilarious. shows. I love you guys, man. Okay. But doing that kind of stuff, <clears throat> hitting Vegas, you know. You and Amy. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah. Do you think people would watch? Putting five hundred thousand dollars down on a crap table and having some fun. I mean, just you know, having some fun like that. Is that is that is that a crime? Is that I bad? don't want to see a, a, a crime. An well, attempted murderer having fun. Really? Yeah, no, it is bad, Joey. What, think? I think what Artie was trying to say is that uh, this has tremendous, explosive ramifications right. in the life of your kids. This is the woman who shot the mother of your children in the face. Believe me, I remember that. Yeah, like, no. Joe, I'm saying, again, I think we have similar backgrounds. And if my father was having an affair with a woman, uh -huh. and that woman shot my mom, yeah. and years later, really? he started dating my this woman again. And taking her out uh -huh. in Hollywood and having taking fun. Taking her out to Vegas and having fun on television. Now I, I understand. I, I think I would take a bat to your head when I saw you. Hardy, is that true? Yeah, I would I would probably hit my father no, in the head I mean, with a bat. That's true? that you just said about your family. What? It, your father had an affair, or were you just... No, no he was supposed to. Why, Dave? Were you smelling another series? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Dominic, you, you, Dominic, you're on the air. Go ahead. That's well, the idea. You don't know. Dominic was Joey's lawyer for Yes. I started with Joey, actually, through Howard, and then I helped Mary Jo later, and, and Joey knows that. Yeah. And then I helped Amy get out of jail, so I kind of was there from the beginning to the absolute end. Okay. And I understand Howard and Robin's attitude, but I, but what I don't understand is why uh, you would make the comments you make about Artie, who's the best guy in the world. I love Artie. You're talking to me, Dominic, or yeah, somebody else? Griff, 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 whatever. Oh no, Griff. Griff. Well, I, I love been... Artie, man. I've Grifter. seen him. I, I, think I don't Artie's know Artie. Great, I think he's got sparks of brilliance. All I'm saying is, it sounds to me like this <laughs> issue is sensitive, and I don't know why. I don't know Artie. All I can tell you is there's a, there was alcohol and drugs involved 15 years ago. There's not anymore, and if there's not, then at least people can think clearly. That's all I can say. Alcohol and drugs by who? By Amy and uh, I think Joey was probably... No, Joey, no, 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 never, no, no, no. Joey never did drugs, and I, was, I read I every probation report. Joey. I was totally clean. Absolutely. Totally and clean when that all that went down. Listen, I, listen, I got clean in 1988 from everything. Listen, one person listen, alcohol, like if, you can make, if you can make money with this, that's up to you. But, but I think Artie's point and everyone else's point is true, and that may be something Joey accepts. But if these kids came out of this okay, I am. I say that's an act of God almost, because they went through hell. 
Do I you, was there. Do you think things will change when they're 25 that Joey makes a decision like this to do anything in his I life? I don't know. Let me I don't tell know. You, they hate Ivanka, his current wife. They have given her so much, such a hard time. They've never accepted her. It doesn't matter if it's Amy Fisher, Ivanka, <coughs> whoever it is. Her, their family is never going to accept anyone as a mother. Wow. Hey, hey, Dominic. This is yeah. almost like Dominic a movie that you wouldn't Joey, believe. I, 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 hey, babe, I, I got to tell you, and anybody who's, who's uh, listening to this, Dominic and I have always said this. You are one, you are very rare. You are, and I've been through attorneys and met with them, and, and i got to tell you something. You have never lied to me, Dominic. You have never misled me. You will help me make decisions to go on and make the right decisions. And i got to tell you, man, you never lied to me. You never told me. This. Honest to God, you were great for me, and you helped me recover for this. This is no, now part of my recovery Okay. still 15 years later. I don't know how this is going to come out. I don't know. You well, know, if you... Amy calls me, I'll give her a free divorce. And when Mary Jo yeah. called me and forget why, you know who paid for it, and that was my... Right. And it was a lot, a lot of money. But all I'm saying is, listen, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. But I think Artie, who I, who I truly love, is just trying to say to you, you know, is it going to hurt the kids? And maybe that's a, a test you're going to give. So yeah, I think it's baby. incredible. Dominic, they're not eight years old. Well, I'm not saying you're, I'm, I'm right or wrong. Well, it doesn't matter it if a kid is eight years old. Are. If a kid, if well, a kid, are you telling me that at some no. point or another you don't? Make well, what well, this is, listen, there's a million, there's a billion women well, they, on the planet. We're talking they're, about, they're, may or may we're not talking be about reason. specifically the yeah. woman who shot and their mother. Listen, you want to know one other thing? People are forgetting that that she was underage when he was having sex with her. So there was another act of victimization going on. Nobody wants to listen to me. You guys are doing a great job. Listen, listen. The thing is, you know, here's after I met, I never met Joey's daughter. Joey's but, gonna fuck Amy Fisher. I, mean, I hear that, it in his voice. He after, does not. He's hell bent on doing this. But after Howard, I met his son, I'm hearing that now they're gonna <laughs> just put the two of them in a house Howard and see brilliant. what happens. Right. That's crazy. Am I right, David, or not? You are brilliant. You're the only one that makes sense on this show because, to me, you understand this show. <laughs> oh, you're nuts, David. I'm gonna get on Artie's side in a minute. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. I mean, people make money off snuff films, though. Really? Right. I don't know why I'm so smart, but I'm telling you. <laughs> but I. I can't Joey. see. I mean, it's one thing to have them have a meeting. It's another thing to have them dancing around town. Hold it. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Going to Vegas. Joey, it's a done deal, isn't it? Pretty you're much. Underestimating, you're underestimating Amy. Amy you has two kids. Hold it, Dominic. I didn't get an answer. Too, right? I, yeah. didn't, I didn't get an answer. She's a great mother. I don't think she'll do anything Joey. to harm her kids. Joey. If you two could put a show on your I got to have a word in here. Joey. I agree with Dominic. I really do. Joey, you're going to have sex. He's always been the voice of reason. Wait. Oh, and God bless you, and I love you. So what that. do you agree with? He's saying not to have sex with this girl. Well, that's not the issue. That's not well, the I issue. I discussed that on the phone today before they even meet, whether or not they're going to have sex. So Amy's children have to see a headline like that. So what's you the know, issue? You could sell this as a reality show. Oh. You, you want to see them in a house? Wait, 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 wait. Oh what's the God. issue? I don't even know. Howard's the only one that brought it up. I've never no, brought it up. No, what is the issue? If you can believe this or what? not, honestly, from my heart, I, I owe Amy a huge apology. This is not about sex. For me to get started into this another phase of my life, I owe Amy a huge apology. And I'm, whether anybody's right. there to see it or hear it or not, and I hope somebody is because I owe it to her publicly, I really do, because of the last, the last try. And the last try, I was a fucking maniac. You know? And by the way, this got the highest ratings of any Entertainment Tonight well, I'm sure it did. ever. I'm sure it did, Dave. I'm not arguing mm -hmm. there's going to be interest in this, but, you know, uh, after I met Joey's kid, Paulie, I honestly said to myself that night, I said, wow. That kid turned out great. He's nice. He ducked a bullet. He got through it, and Literally. he's going to be fine. And now you're dragging him back into it. Yeah, Why test know. him twice? No, Actually, Artie, Artie, you and I have something Artie, in common. Artie, in my defense to that, I, I love I love my children, and I'm sure you speak to Paulie, and he tells you he loves me. We have a great relationship. We go riding our Harleys in the hills and, and everything, and I have a great relationship with Paulie. Oh, here Hello? you go again. Are we there? Yeah, yeah we're here. Yeah, yeah. My son Paulie is not 12 years old anymore. He's 27. He's a grown man. You know? I know, Joe, but and, it... and my daughter Jesse, I'm sure you met. You know, she she's working hard. And she's doing her thing. She's 24 years old. He didn't meet Jesse. He said. Oh, okay. I never <laughs> met Jesse, but you know, again, I just said to myself, God, this kid ducked such a bullet right. in his life. Look, and... We're going we're going over the same thing. Right. I'm just, uh, I don't know uh, that Joey's actually. Have you? Told your children of what you're doing? No, no. I, haven't, I haven't seen. I haven't seen or spoken His to either one of my beautiful children. Wait, well, David, you got to shut up for three seconds and let the guy finish the sentence. That's okay. You guys are doing a great job. Yo, Joey, Joey. Yeah. You said you were interrupted. Every David jumps on every line you say. 
What What did you say? You haven't seen your kids how long? I haven't seen Paul or Jesse uh, since I went into the county, and that was January. I haven't seen them. So it doesn't I've sound like... I called and left messages for Paulie, but um, I haven't heard from any. I haven't heard from them. I know that they want to see me and speak with me, but I haven't. And, and you know, for whatever... For everything that everybody says about me, and I've, we've all ducked this whole thing and just gotten through it, I'm, I, am a, I am a very sensitive guy, and I know you guys a long time, and Howard, you were the only one there back 15 years ago when all this shit jumped off, and, and you were really the only So, so, all right, everyone's but just saying to you, you better seen, think this through. I haven't seen my kids, and I'm, I really need to, but I just got out like eight days ago, and I'm dealing with so There's much There's something bullshit. wrong here between you and your kids if you yeah. haven't seen them for that long, so I would think real uh, hard about whether or not you should yeah. see Amy Fisher. I have, yeah. I have a question. But on did the other did hand, they visit him in jail? No. no. He said no. He hasn't no. seen them. No, I didn't want them to, guys, because it's a real shitty place to be, even for the people who come to visit inmates. It's a bad place to be. All right, Frank, you have the last word. Go ahead. Who does? Frank. Frank from Massapequa, go ahead. Hey, Joey, you two deserve each other. You should take that money maker that you use in the fucking body business and smack some sense into your fucking head, you dope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the last one. That was a great last That's word. Some neighborhood advice. <laughs> he said that. He's going to play that for all his friends yeah, Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. Sniffing coke, smoking yeah. weed. Come on, man. <laughs> Whatever it is. All right. Thank you, Frank. And, and to answer Dominic, and I want because I, I respect Dominic, and I really, really do, because he's a real smart guy with all this stuff. And I just need a, a starting point. My my starting point is apologizing to Amy and starting from that point for that last outbreak last May. All right. Honest to God, I really, for me to be able to move on, guys. All right, David, go ahead and give yourself a plug now. Uh, well, listen, there's a lot going on. We're very excited to work with the sheriff of Los Angeles County, Lee Baca, who's going to be the next governor, we hope. Entertainment Tonight and the Insiders has been wonderful to give us the time. We appreciate you, Howard. I always come to you. You don't pay a dime, as you know, and I still come to you because I really appreciate Everything you do and your Peter and with Artie, you know this is nothing personal. I think we have some some differentiation, but we love Robin and I just thank you so much for the opportunity to be on the show. Tonight. All right, thank you, David and David Kreef, Joey yep. Butafuco, thank you, and keep us uh, posted on what happens now between. You got it, man. All right, very listen, good. guys. Honestly, I hope everything turns out all right. I really do. Thanks, Thanks Artie. Thanks all right. a lot. Thank you, guys. All right, bye, bye, Robin. Bye. Bye, bye. bye Howard. I don't. <laughs> well, I mean, well, uh, you hope everything turns out all right. Yeah. No, I hope the thing is a failure. Well, that's what I think Artie means. Yeah. Yeah. He thinks I hope... I, all right is that everybody <laughs> yeah. is okay. Somehow everybody's okay is what yeah. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. Well, uh, Artie, you uh, made the right point. <laughs> the fact of the matter is. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, you do. No, well, you, you, you met the kids, and you had a personal right, it, feeling about yeah, what they're going to really have to said, deal with as a result What of you it. said was not out of line. You said to David, this isn't right. And uh, you, yeah, more importantly, though, the only area I disagree with you is, forget David. Joey's got to think this through. No, I know. It I mean, is look, his decision. I David's, thought you were putting a little too much uh, responsibility on David. I agree with you, but I mean, he—we were happened to be in the conversation together. I agree with you. Joey's a grown man, and David's a businessman, and Joey has every right and every opportunity to say no to this. I, right. I, I'm just trying to get Joey to think it through more. Man. I and think I he did think the right thing. I, I do think I it's odd. Eight days out of prison, that your priority is meeting Amy Fisher right. and not your kids. Going right. to Vegas. Uh, that's a great point. Yes, Fred. I respect Artie's opinion. I, I, I respect him as a human being, but, you know, David ultimately is doing nothing any worse than Entertainment Tonight when they do the Anna Nicole Smith stuff. Right. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like they're dragging her corpse all over no, the place I agree. to get ratings. Yeah. Ultimately, so you know. he's basically on the same par as Entertainment Tonight. And until people stop doing that kind of shit, David's free to do what he wants. It yeah. is Entertainment Tonight. Didn't he say he's working with Yes, them? he is. Well, it's a shame. Go. I mean, look, he said it's got the biggest ratings ever. I know. I realize that. That's That stuff is interesting to people. I it's interesting, interesting to people. Yeah. Look, it's no different. I put Joey on because I think it's interesting. The right. fact of the matter is that Joey's decision now is, as Robin says, do I go and make amends with my kids? Or do I go fuck I think Amy Fisher? I, I don't <laughs> think he's the father of their kids or something. I mean, no father would do that. I mean, I, I would love to have asked Joey, had his daughter done something similar had she been seduced by an older man and maybe i don't know how amy came to shoot this person whether she was coerced she was on drugs or whatever how would he feel would he feel good about his daughter 
I mean, would he be ex- angry about the situation? Yeah, it's it's too it's too crazy. And, and I, I sort of what you were doing, Howard, they're dancing around the subject like going to Vegas. I think putting it that bluntly, like, are you going to fuck Amy Fisher? I think he's that might set him back a little bit. And maybe like, make him think Look, about it. That's what this is about, and uh, maybe it'll make him think twice. Because I mean, obviously David likes that because he wants right. that innuendo it that that be, might happen. It would be a spectacle if right, those two course. got together. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, I think Joe. Joey's mindset is already, i got to get back together with this girl to keep the story going. And right. what, what we just well, did, what we managed to do here today is say, give him a sobering thought. I could not believe yeah. that he could say, do you think it would be interesting for us to be throwing <laughs> $500,000 on a table in Vegas and yeah. having some fun? Uh, yes, no. Wheels, go ahead. More you're entertaining on. than the Sons of Hollywood on A&A. <laughs> Wheels, you're on in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Howard, my brother was shot and killed at 18 by one of my best friends' brother. I mean, I can't imagine how it would tear my mom up if I even continued to be friends with the kid. Right. That's exactly right. Joey Joey has to weigh the consequences of, like, is it worth it damaging his kids for money? It's bull crap. There's no, I'm sorry. He's sorry. She shot his wife. His kids are first, man. It's ridiculous. My Mm. mom is every day. Well, that's that's a very sobering thought. Irish John, you're on the air in New Rochelle. Hey, good morning, Howard. How great would this television special be if Amy Fisher took out a gun and shot Joey Buttafuoco? <laughs> well, That's now the you're only talking. thing that would make it watchable. And already, way to stand up for yourself, man. Kick that guy's ass. <laughs> All right, but Frank. Wait, I'm not, I'm not looking remember, to fight anybody. Frank. I remember when Amy Fisher was first tried and convicted. There was so much anger against this girl, right. and nobody could understand why she was even being released. That's right. She tried to murder a woman. The only thing she failed right. at her attempt to murder. Mary Jo could easily be dead right now. Easily. Absolutely. Frank, you're on the air. Hey, uh, Howard. Um, 20 years, man. I love you. It's the first time I've ever spoken to you, but uh, Artie, I love Artie, but he's way he's way off base here. I mean, I, I love the guy. He has some great insight, but... What is he Artie off has, base about? About base. Um, Joey and what he's going to do to his kids. You know, David's right. No matter what Joey does, Artie doesn't have children, and right. he... Artie, you have, and I'm not saying, Artie, you should never get married, by the way. 15 years of hell for me. And, well, no, uh, look, I understand I don't have kids, but I think as a child of someone, I can relate to this. anything, Artie. It uh, Frank, I want to understand your point, so I'm going to slow you down. What are you saying that Artie is wrong about? Lecturing Joey on what he's going to do to his kids. But wait a Why second. Can do that? How, can you not, how can you not stop for a second? Now, think about this. Your mom was shot in the face. Because of something... Because of an affair that your dad had. And now your dad's going to hook up with that broad. Now, right. how does that not affect you? Well, and go have some fun. Well, he's considering it. So we said, Joey, maybe you ought to think a little harder. Now, also, the man got out of prison after being in a year, and Robin pointed out to him that, you know, maybe you should repair your relationship with your kids first. So the fact of the matter is, while Artie doesn't have children, he is thinking of himself as a child and how he would feel. It's 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 wrong. I mean, what happened happened, and that was Amy Fisher's doing. I mean, I grew up in the area. I went to the gym where Joey used to work out, Future Physique in Massapequa. But what is your it point? Was, the point is, is that Artie needs to understand that no matter what Joey does, I mean, Joey could have been the greatest father in the world. No matter what Joey right. does, what? Well, I, don't, I don't think he's ever accused of what's children, the... His children are not going to accept. It. Another woman, what? Well, no one. That's, maybe that's, that's true. That's neither but, here nor there. But they're sure as hell not going to accept the fact that he's banging the, the the woman who shot their mother. Right. So that's two times. That's that's that's, that's uh, Joe being a prick to the second power. You know. That's well, right. That's the point. And so again, it seems that you're agreeing with Artie. And again, everybody's still overlooking the fact she was underage. So you know, it right. was an older guy There's taking mil- advantage of a kid. A million things wrong right, with it. And, and the argument of they're not eight years old or twenty-seven. Look, means I, nothing. Right. I mean, you ask anyone in their forties. You ask anyone in their forties how different they are from when they were twenty-seven. People change the whole. And, and there's parent issues till the day you die. You know. Yeah, and you know what? You make the point at 8, 10, 12 years old, however old they were at the time, they had to deal with, hey, your father and still did with this, it. and your mother got shot, and, and that right. whole thing. Yeah. Now they're going to have to deal with, what's your dad doing now? He's right. back with the woman who shot your mother? When I met All right, we've had enough of this discussion. Uh, we're going to move on. When I met, I'm just saying, when I met the kid out in L.A., my, uh, you know what? I felt so happy he seemed okay, and I felt bad for him, and I said, here's just a guy I'm doing a shot with at a bar. I hate 
why I know him. You right. know what I mean? He's at a complete disadvantage because I know him for this reason. That's right, and he shouldn't even be known. No, he right. should be like a, a friendly dude I'm drinking with. And, uh, you know, he, he, the he, reason they had to move to Los Angeles was because their lives were such hell right. in, You're right. Los, in uh, Long Island. You're right. He survived it once, and why bring him back into the same Absolutely. situation? Discussion over. Let's go to the spots. We have to. Xin chào các mọi người và hôm nay bên em lại về một chiếc Kia Morning xe sản xuất 2019 1.25 số tự động bản Luxury Kia Morning là một trong những dòng mà rất là nhỏ gọn và tiết kiệm nhiên liệu phù hợp đi nội thành Đấy, và tiết kiệm nhiên liệu xe này màu đỏ và số tự động thì phụ nữ hay đàn ông đi đều được Đấy. không phải là chúng ta cứ mua những con xe to và những con xe này đi vào đường phố đông đúc thì đã là tận tiện